Hello, my name is Alfred Flint. I'm a professor for didactics of chemistry at the University of Rostock and my job is to teach young students who want to become chemistry teachers. And beside this we uh, are developing a new concept. This concept is called chemistry for life and within this concept we try to deal as often as possible with things of your daily life. We try to substitute so-called chemicals from the laboratory by substances, by things you find at your home, you find in the supermarket or something like that, just to get the pupils at school more interested in the subject of chemistry and we try to show them how important chemistry is for their daily life with the hope that a little bit more pupils will be interested in chemistry by themselves and not only by the pressure of school or by the pressure of lessons to get uh, good results. And hello, my name is Katja Anschei. I'm uh, doing my PhD uh, in that group. So um, for me, it's uh, dealing with um, chemistry for life. And um, I developed in the last four years a concept um, for introducing um, organic chemistry for school. And so we used this kind of uh, products that you find in the shops that you find in your daily life. Uh, so we used, for instance, beer uh, as a starter to introduce organic chemistry. We actually do not prefer to start with um, gas or oil because the students think it's actually quite boring, it's, it's really lame. And even the um, teachers say that um, such a start is not really motivating. So we use, uh, in contrast to that, beer for instance, we all also use refreshing tissues, um, we also use baby oil, vinegar and so on. And uh, so to get the um, students motivated for chemistry, um, for their daily life, and to show the relation and the importance of both of them. So for instance, we start, as I said, with beer, then we have two samples there. We have one sample that is non-alcoholic and the other is alcoholic. And the students are asked um, to find, figure out which of them is the alcoholic sample. And so they have um, different opportunities uh, to figure out which is which. And they also get to the alcohol um, to um, investigate it, um, the properties and its structure itself. But we also have, for instance, an example uh, here we use a refreshing tissue and as you can see sometimes uh, it is said that it is inflammable and this is of course a fact that we try to investigate as well and we can see here burning refreshing tissue as well. Mm -hmm. Another fascinating experiment is um, when we like to demonstrate the chemical process which is actually huge and uh, normally you need um, a big apparatus to demonstrate the process of cracking but um, we figured out a new method by using uh, syringes for instance um, and um, uh, baby oil and the only thing you also need is a pot cleaner and a combination of both when you need uh, when you use the pot cleaner with a baby oil and you heat both then you get uh, petrol out of that and this is the fascinating process of cracking, uh, explaining how you get from oil into petrol that we actually need um, in our daily life for energy. Uh, and so this is uh, a big process um, that we try to demonstrate in a simple and uh, really fascinating way. Uh, it's, it's very important not to make only show chemistry or everyday chemistry or a thing like that just to get the students or the pupils interested in. It's also very important to have a look at the science chemistry and to find the right combination introducing the science chemistry by teaching uh, uh, several aspects with uh, things from daily life. It must not only be um, an interesting and a fascinating chemistry, it also has to have a look at the science. So we follow the way through organic chemistry almost the way it is in science, just to try or to get some new aspects in it and just by using 
things from daily life instead of glasses and bottles with uh, colorless liquids and with strange signs on it, dangerous, toxic, or things like that. And so we, we want to get the combination of both science and aspects from daily life.